What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Really happy to be able to bring you a blues rock soloing lesson right now. And it's kind of in the style of, like, Cream era Eric Clapton. Uh, but let's zoom in, and I'm going to show you some cool Clapton-style licks. Here we go. All right, I think you're going to enjoy uh, putting some of these little ideas together. And I'm going to kind of deconstruct... Uh, how to improvise a couple of ideas. All right, so we're uh, rocking out in D, and it's kind of that ambiguous uh, D rock, with, you know, which means you kind of can mix the D major and the D minor together. And you also kind of rely on your ear heavily to hear when either of those elements are good. But don't worry about that. I'm gonna show you some cool stuff. All right, so we got the root right there, which is the 10th fret. And you know, you got your pentatonic thing. All right, uh, you've got the G, B, and high E strings, and that's what we're gonna focus on for this lesson. And you know, so that'd be 13 on the high E, 10 right there, 13, 10. And then you've got 12, 10. Right? So here are the first two elements of this little tasty zone here. And the first one is the G string bend on the 12th fret. And we're going to bend it up a whole step. Try and give it a little shaky jiggle there at the top. So that's element number one. So if someone's rocking out. Now let's modify that element into two separate things. One will be the bend, the pick and the bend, like that. But modification, letter B, will be this note, then the bend up. So we have two modifications. That one and this one. So you can mix and match either of those, the straight up or the natural, then the straight up. All right, so that was element one. Here's element two, the same exact thing, but on the B string, starting on the 13th fret, the modification. So, that leaves us with the straight bend up on the 13th, or the natural then the bend up, and the same thing on the G string starting on the 12th fret. So right there, you can kind of mix and match those four little things into a pretty cool solo, just with that, you know? That less is more kind of concept. I see a lot of beginner students, I'm not implying that every single one watching this is a beginner, but I see a lot of beginner students and even guys that have been playing for maybe like a year, um, just throwing too much in, you know? You know, going, 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 la, 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 la. When you can kind of work a little story with some simple elements. And Clapton was really good at that. All right, so we got. Then the B string. All right, now we're going to do this. The high E root there on the 10th fret to the 10th fret of the B.
So now we have this third element of the 10 on the high E to the 10 on the B. So the last element here is the 10th fret on the high E to the 13th fret on the B mixed with all the other elements. So time. 